Welcome back to Chandler Park Goat Stud. We've got a bit to do on this episode today. Um, we recently bought a Thompson Longhorn calf cradle and it's to put the goats in and restrain them and then flip them so we can do their feet. But once we got it back here we kind of looked at it and where we're going to put it and we can set it up in the yard but there's no shade, there's no cover. So big job. We have the dairy or the old dairy with a roof, but it's full of junk. So we're gonna clear it out. Okay, once we get everything out, we can see what space we've got to work with. Um, and in terms of, yeah, cause we wanna sort of be able to flow them in, get them through the lifter and then get them out and um, be able to separate the ones we've done from the ones we haven't. So, but yeah, first thing is just, clear out the shed see what we're at and um, yeah we're a little bit lighter we had 15 weathers go at the weekend so most of the bucks in here are our stud bucks now still a couple couple of um, weathers but they will be going in the next couple of days and yeah now we've got border restrictions to contend with so some of our does we've got to work out solutions for, but it's all part of it at the moment. But if 2020's taught us anything, it's just uh, just make do and just go with the flow. You can't fight it. So, all right, cool. I'm gonna get stuck into it, see what I find in the dairy. It might be some useful stuff. And um, yeah, we'll see if we can make a video out of this. And it might be very boring, but we will do our best. All right. Well, we're starting to get somewhere. Um, yeah, you can see the beginnings of something now. It's a bit of a work in progress, but it'll be good that now I can show you how it was and the end result. And hopefully we've got somewhere cool. I can do my hoof trimming, drenching, everything in here. Okay, we're back for day two. It's stinking hot today, um, but we did well yesterday. We got everything out. We have done one load to the tip. Um, there's a few little arguments about what some people think is junk and some people think is precious, but we're getting there. Um, so yeah, we still got a fair bit to sort out still, but I'm pretty happy. So, if you've watched my videos before, you will see that So we normally bring them in down that gate, bring them into this yard, and then we've got the two sort of holding yards we can use plus the race. So, shut that on. So there he is. Open that gate, we bring them into the yards and then we gently corral them into here, into a smaller yard. And then they come da -da 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 down here, 
come round the circle and go straight into a sort of race up the ramp, which yeah, needs some, needs some attention. I'm probably just gonna rebuild one. Walk along, walk along, straight into the flipper, which will be here. And this is um, one of these things that we'll do. Send a few goats through, trial it, and we might move it around. It might be completely different by the time we finish, but this is the, this is the one um, that we've come up with for the moment. So the All right, so we're ready to do our little test run. We're gonna do a test run, Alfie? Test run. So we've got we've got the the race and the lifter all set up. We will put a couple through and see what happens. Um, probably won't work ideally first time round. Um, it's going to be one of these things that we'll yeah you only find out by doing how it's going to work. But yeah, we will see. Fingers crossed. We are getting those ones, those little, those mummies over there, yeah. into the yard behind me. Yeah, so we've bought a new flipper and we're going to flip the goats. And yeah, so what are you doing, Alfie? Showing the goaties away. Mm -hmm. Alright, see ya. Fill up some water trucks and do some Julia candles. Yay! What do you think about that, Julia? Alfie, say hi. Hi. So he's helping, he's just getting wet because he loves it. So we've got a few in here ready to go. We've got the whole mob up. So yeah, we're just gonna try it with one or two and see see what happens. But um, yeah, fingers crossed. So she's in, it's restrained on her on her neck, big girl, and then the big boss is gonna flip it. Oh, well, hold on. The big boss pressed the wrong button. Sorry, Candy. Okay. Yeah. Kick that. Oh, sorry, GoPro. We found um, holding their heads, but we can now have a good look at hooves. We can have a good look at just general health, eyes, mouth, anything we need to. Have a look at teats. And um, yeah, she looks pretty happy. We've got a towel here that we can, we can put over their heads if they are really uncomfy or whatever. But um, yeah, we'll give it a go. So we'll give her a quick trim. And this is why we need the gate. Oh, we've got sunshine out already? Yep. Typical sunshine. Sunshine's coming to you, Navy. 
You want to open that other gate, maybe, and see if something will go out. But yeah, it definitely makes it a lot easier. She's happy. I can grab the feet. And um, yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. And these aren't too bad either. So for now, until we move it, I'm just going up. But ideally, I'd walk around past Carmel and <laughs> all right so yeah she's pretty happy we've managed to do all her feet and um yeah it's not really too stressful so then Good job, Navy. That's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's that's the flipper. Bit of a work in progress, but um, yeah, I think that worked pretty good. What do you reckon, Carl? Yes, I was happy with that. Yeah, you just need to get some muscles. I do. <laughs> All righty. All right, well, that's everything out of the yards um, and back in the paddocks. Happy days. Um, so I just want to talk to you a bit about the hoof trimming tools I use. Um, and once again, we aren't doing how-to videos, but this is just what we do. So take, take it from it what you will. So what I've always used is these Felco Secateurs. They're great. You can, oh, these blades you can swap. So I've got two or three on hand at all times and I bought one of these and it was ridiculously expensive but I'm very happy with it and I did I yeah recommend them so this is a Felco sharpener um, and that's tungsten or something but it puts a really really good edge on it and and that's the most important thing keeping keeping the edge and you want this blade to be hard up to this so you don't want any gaps because that's when you you don't get a clean cut but with this you you can adjust that here and here to get a real like at the moment i can't hear that the blade is touching or, or yeah hitting till the end so they probably do need a, a tiny little titan but now these ones um these a A R S. Um, they're made in Japan. They're light. They're easy to use. You can use them both ways. So I'm pretty happy. The only thing is they can. I don't know if you can see that, but they can spread at the tip rather than cutting. Whereas these, it's a stronger blade but yeah like i say i need to use these a bit but so far i gotta say i'm pretty happy so this is ars corporation pro cutting tools and i've yeah loads and loads of breeders have recommended these to me but personally i can see uses for the two these today 
the hoofs are dry and hard. On big cuts, they did struggle a little bit. Uh, sort of the first cuts. Whereas these are good for, I can get a real, get that overgrowth off straight away and then start trimming. So yeah, personally, I think I'm gonna be using a bit of both um, and have the, the two. And I do have a big file as well that I use on occasion just to flatten them off. Cool, so that's what I reckon so far. If you like this video, click the like button, click subscribe, and then you get notified when, um, when we put new videos up. But I'd just like to say thanks for watching. You can find us on Facebook, just search Chandler Park Goat Stud or Instagram, we've got a page there. So we try and be across everything, but um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. We certainly enjoy making them and um, we'll see you next time. All right, see ya, bye.